and Mogan Cunningham was born in Portland, Oregon in 1883. In 1901, Cunningham bought her first camera, a 4x5-inch view camera. Cunningham studied at the University of Washington in Seattle. She got her inspiration from the work of Gertrude Casebier. In 1909, Cunningham opened a studio in Seattle and won acclaim for portraiture and pictorial work. During the early years of her studio, Cunningham's work consisted of people in their own homes, people in her own living room, and people in the woods surrounding her cottage. In 1915, Cunningham married Roy Partridge, a teacher and artist. He posed for a series of nude photographs shot by Cunningham. Cunningham had three children, Griffith, Rondell, and Pedrick, with Partridge. In 1920, the family moved to San Francisco. Cunningham became increasingly interested in botanical photography as she refined her style. Between 1923 and 1925, she carried out an in-depth study of the magnolia flower. In 1929, Edward Weston nominated 10 of Cunningham's photographs, 8 botanical, 1 industrial, and 1 nude, for inclusion in the film and photo exhibition and her renowned two collars debuted in that exhibition. Cunningham once again switches directions and becomes interested by the human form, mainly hands. She was fascinated with the hands of artists and musicians. With this new fascination with the human form, Cunningham became one of the co-founders of, of, of S64. In the 1940s, Cunningham turned to documentary street photography. Cunningham continued to take photographs until shortly before her death at age 93 on June 24, 1976, in San Francisco, California.